Hello and welcome back to Eagle Hive and in this video we'll be focusing on how to start and to stop the Primavera. So after we've done installing the Primavera P6 CPPM files, the next thing we'll be doing is to run the Primavera P6 CPPM. So having said this, I'll just navigate to local disk C where we have the Primavera file. So for my case, I have it here, local disk C. And then I'll go to the Oracle, I'll go to Mildware, I'll go to Oracle Home, then I'll go to the user project. Actually, I'll go to, yeah, user project, I'll go to domain, I'll go to the Primavera P6 CPPM, then I will start the web logic from here. Or alternatively, I can go back to Oracle Home, and then I can, I can look for scripts so in scripts i'll take the primavera start or start primavera and stop primavera then i'll right click and then i'll create shortcuts of the same so having created these two shortcuts i'll just click on them i'll control c to copy or i can just send them to the desktop so i'll go to desktop here and then i'll paste them like so so i have these two i'll go back to the folder where i have them and then I'll go and delete these ones because I do not need them for now. So going back to the server. So we can go to the same place, user projects, domain, Primavera P6. Copy this web logic. So the same thing, create a shortcut. And then control X to cut. Go to desktop and control V. To paste. So after doing this, now we're going to start our Primavera. So I'll right click and then I'll click as run administrator and then it will start the process. So just give it a few minutes or a few a few minutes because it's the first time that it's running.
So after a few minutes, the configuration will finish running. So all I'll do, I'll just go to my desktop. So I'll just double click this one. So this one can either be run using Chrome or you can open it using these others. So this is Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. So for my case, I prefer using Google Chrome. So I'll just click on Google Chrome and then it will start running. So now we have the WebLogic Admin Console. We have the Primavera P6 and we have the Primavera P6 Administrator and the team member. So I'll just right click to open the WebLogic on my other tab and I'll also run the Primavera P6 Administrator on the other tab. So I've been done this. So this one is already running. So I'll just type in my username. So I know it's a uh, WebLogic P6 and the password is welcome one. Everything small, one being numerical. And then I'll just click on login. So just give it a few seconds or a few minutes, depending with the computer speed. And also having understood that it's the first time that it's running. So you can just open here, you can see the environment, you can see the servers. So I'm just confirm that the servers are running. So here's where you check that the servers are running. So you have the admin server. This is admin. It's a local host and it's running and the health is okay. So the same as the P6, it's running. The P6 integration API is running. The team member is running. So you can also control them here where you can select specific. You can start or you can suspend or you can shut down and for shutdown and restart this SSL due to the security. But for my case, everything is running. There's no issue. So I'll go to this other tab where I have the Oracle Primavera P6 Administrator. So my username is admin and my password is welcome one with one numerical. So just click on sign in. It will just take a few minutes because it's the first time that it's actually running in this, in this system. So after the administrator launches, this is where you configure the localization, so on and so forth. So this one will get into it further in another video, but just to show you that it's running. So after which I'll just go to log out. So I'll log out from here. And then now I will launch the Primavera P6. So I'll just launch it in another windows like this. So if you minimize or view reduce the window for this one, you can be able actually to see the people stand off like this. <laughs> it's uh, it's not the way that they are caught when you put it in full screen mode. But yeah, so for my case, everything is the same. So I'll just hit on sign in and it will just take a few minutes because it's the first time that it's running.
So you can see that the Primavera is running and uh, everything is okay. So we'll just go into depth in a later video. So this is just to show you that everything is running as it should be. So after that, I'll just log out. So because it's the first time, they, it's important to note that the window will be running very slow. So a lot of these prompts will be coming. So just hit on wait and just give it some time for the computer to initialize or to run. But for now, just give it some time. And now we have been able to understand that it's running. So in the event that you want to shut down your computer, that you're finished running or doing your planning controls. So the next thing, so I'll just close this. This does not mean that I have ejected or I've uh, left the Primavera prematurely. It's still running in the background, but I just closed the tab. So in the event that you want to leave, you'll just come here and stop Primavera. So it'll run as administrator. And I'll just show you how it will shut down everything. So just give it a few seconds or a few minutes also. Because it's the first time that it's actually shutting down the Primavera. So after the system is done running, so you can just refresh here to see if anything is running. But for my case, I do understand that everything has stopped, inclusive the web logic. So that is the way that you stop the primavera after you want to shut down. And yeah, thank you. For